Hey, um, the, the bride and groom would uh, graciously ask that everybody could just silence their phones now. And, and they really want everybody locked in, especially those that are here present. Um, let's, let's not be taking photos and video or anything like that because they don't want you staring into your phone. They want you to really be in the moment with them and really experience of what's happening here right now. They want you to know there's photos and video and it'll be made available for everyone. So you'll get that perfect picture. Amen? Um, we're, we're just moments away from uh, the, the beginning of this wonderful ceremony. So we welcome you. Could we just, everybody, go ahead. Yeah, there we are. Could we all rise to our feet? The bride is about to enter the room. Hallelujah. this right on behalf of my father I hallelujah thank you you may be seated Well, welcome, honored guests, everybody that is here both those that are joining us online and those that are here with us in sunny That's South great. Florida uh, honored guests Katie and Danny welcome you and we are just grateful that everybody is here today to be able to witness this divine moment and they are delighted that you are here with them yes. <laughs> we're gathered here on this day to witness and to celebrate this most important moment in their lives we come together not to mark the start of a relationship but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists this ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond. And as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and our privilege to stand witness to this sacred and holy moment. Danny and Katie, this day is made possible not only because of your love for one another, but also for the love of your dearest family and friends. And furthermore, Beloved, most of all, the amazing grace and providence of Almighty God, who desiring to express his undying devotion and love to both of you personally, 
He has collided your destinies. Yes. Thus bringing together two incredible individuals. Full of passion and love for each other. And love and passion for others. Together, God, you are going to fulfill an even grander purpose than that which you first be, be, than what you first believed. And your life together is going to impact countless lives with the limitless love and grace that you found in God and that you experience with one another and in one another. May this limitless love and grace which you experience through one another always abound more and more and bringing your lives the greatest fulfillment and joy with each passing year. Marriage is a covenant. It's a commitment for life where two people unite to bring out the very best in one another. I'm confident of that, I see that. <laughs> Marriage offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional union that has the promise of a lifetime. Would you let us bow our heads now in prayer? Lord, we thank you for gathering everyone here today, and we ask that you would help, most gracious Father, both Danny and Katie, to remember the strong love that they share, to work that love into practical things so that nothing can ever divide them. May their love always inspire them to be kind in their words, considerate of others' feelings, and concerned for the others' needs and wishes. Increase their faith and trust in you. Bless their marriage with peace and happiness and make their love fruitful for your glory and their joy, both here and in eternity. Amen. 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 Well, marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. Thanks, brother. Oh, tremendous. <laughs> Thank you. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through your different seasons of life. Mm. In his letter to the Corinthians, Paul wrote this. He said, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. And it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes in all things, hopes in all things, endures all things. Love never ends. While the commitment begins with the two of you, its effects radiate outward. It touches your family and friends and ultimately all of society. When this commitment is made seriously and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding of all human relationships. This is what I am confident of, Danny, that you desire for Katie. Mm -hmm. And Katie, I am absolutely positive. <laughs> really positive. This is what you desire for <laughs> yes. Danny. Thank you. And when you treat each other the way you do with the love and the respect that you have for one another, it's limitless, it's boundless to what your life, the fruit that you're going to experience. Mm -hmm. We're so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Absolutely. Danny and Katie, your relationship will take more than love. You know that. It's going to take trust. Yeah. It's going to take trust to know that in your hearts that the others means their best and they always mean well. And that they have the best for each other. Yeah. Dedication to stay open to one another. Mm -hmm. And always have that open line of communication. Mm -hmm. To learn and grow. Even in the hard times and faith ultimately yeah. to be able to go forward and to overcome everything, any obstacle that life may bring your way. Because you know both that you're, how important your faith is to where you are even today yes. and where you're standing. While love is our natural state of being, these other qualities don't come as easy. <laughs> 
They're not a destination. Yes. This is a journey. Yes. It's a journey through life. It's a give and a take of two personalities, a mingling literally of two endowments, but neither diminishes the other, but only adds to the other, enriches it mm. and makes it even more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Your joining together today becomes all the more important to recognize the significance of a devoted and affectionate family life. And this will be my charge to you. Seeing that no moment is without meaning, mm -hmm. we ask that you take this marriage as the beginning of your lives together. Today signifies the creation of a new home mm -hmm. and a new family for you both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed yes. by the promises you are about to make and the life that you will create. Yes. Remember that in marriage, there are good times and not so good times. Times of joy and times of sorrow. But marriage is a journey. Mm -hmm. A time of adventure and excitement that is only enhanced by the love, the trust, the affection, the endearment that you two share for one yes. another. Yes. And you also know that the good times, they are sweeter. <laughs> the good times are sweeter when they are shared together. And that those difficult times, they're more bearable together. Continue to work to build that foundation which will ultimately support a lifelong lasting relationship yes. of love. Yes. And may the promises that you make today be lived out to the end of your lives. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow can bring you the greatest joys, but today is the day that it all Yay. begins. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, Danny and Katie. Do you, with all of your family and your friends here as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in this marriage? Yes. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Excellent. <laughs> and will you, Danny and Katie, promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life, yes. come what may, and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? Yes. Well, at this time, I have the honor of introducing Rabbi Ariel uh, yes. on the screen here. As he's going to address the couple. Hello, Danny and Katie and everyone. Um, a blessing is often an expression of our best wishes. And we have uh, tons of wishes uh, for you uh, and we'll give you a million blessings but we don't have time for a million now <laughs> so i'll recite a few of the blessings that are traditionally recited in, in jewish weddings and uh, these are uh, for you Blessed is the oneness uniting all creation. May the two of you know that the entire world is one in beauty and harmony. And may you always live in strangers. Blessed is the creation of human beings. Blessed the two of you. Blessed is the human heart capable Blessed is the creation of humanity, man and woman, all in the divine image. So we live, love, Create and enhance life with the divine qualities in each of us. You stand now here linking your lives in your love and also linking your love 
in their union with our origins, with our history, with our long held ideas. Blessed is the unknown life of our highest ideas, now held in the new home by the Islamic country. Samech Kesamach Rehma Ovi, Kesamech Rehma Ovi, Kesamech Rehma Ovi, Kesamech Rehma Ovi, We are taught how our whole world began on that garden on earth where two individuals found that first love. Blessed be, pride, and groom, and may your love be as old and as new as that first love. May you to create a beautiful world to be. And the final blessing. Baruch Atalonai Lohi Nomerech Olam Asher Baras Asom Besimcha Adam Bekala Yigila Reina Diitza Bechema Ahava Beachava Shalom Beregu Mehera Lohi Lohi Nishama Beri Yuda Ukutzot Yerushalayim Kol Sarason Bekol Simcha Kol Chalatan Bekol Kanala Baruch Adonai, Mesameach Adon, Im HaKadon. Let's now praise, joy, and celebration, lovers and beloveds, pleasure, light, love, and friendship. May we still see the day when all we hear in the streets and towns are the voices of joy, voices of lovers, the sounds of celebration for a loving couple coming out of their wedding. Blessed is life as it brings happiness to the bride. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank Rabbi. You, Rabbi. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes. At this time, we're going to have an exchanging of the vows, and the couple have written their own. Uh, Danny will go first. Katie. No, I'm mic'd. Yeah. Okay. Just so they can hear you. Okay. Hear you. Katie. Katie P. <laughs> yes. From New Jersey. Soon to be Katie G. Yeah. Babe, my love, who would have thought 14 years ago we'd be here in this moment? You could have not planned this, written this, orchestrated this. The truth is only God could author an incredible and miraculous story. This is the preface. I understand commitment very deeply. We are both servants of God's will and have devoted our life to it. Honoring God in this capacity with you is a commitment that I do not take lightly. Yet I do it without hesitation, fear, disregard, or defense. I told you that I wanted to share my life with you and give you my everything. Although I am vowing to you with my words from my mouth and writing on this page, my actions to submit have been revealed to you before the bond. We say that our gratitude speaks when we care and when we share. My love for you speaks because I love you with my actions. The opportunity to tell you that you are the most beautiful and most gorgeous woman in the entire universe, yes, universe, and that I will always want that. To be able to present things to you, surprises and presents, I will always, always, always want to spoil you and hang out, watch movies, shop, play video games, and just hold, not just, your hand and spend quality time. From the moment of our first date at Oceanic, right here, my love for you has been bleeding out of me. Yet I need no blood donor, no transfusion. My blood type for my love for you has no safe match. Only God will love you the way, only God and I will love you the way I love you. The source of my love for you comes from him. I remember the first time we went to, the first time we went into extended prayer and fasting. During that time, we began to drill down into our prayer lists. It was apparent now and then how rapidly we were being thrust forward with ease into our life together. I had no idea when I asked you for 40 years that it was so divinely accurate. In Philippians 1.3, it says that every time I think of you, I give thanks to God. 
I have been wandering for all this time and then you appeared, but you were always there. And now you are the woman that I get to share my life with for now and in eternity. Together we will be able to accomplish things we never thought possible and would be impossible separately. Our bond is one that cannot be adequately described and will not be broken. Given the power that we are together, I bring before God request to prepare me to be your husband. I pray that I always honor you above me. I pray, to, I pray to love you as God loves us. I pray that I do everything in love. I pray that I give my life for you the same way Christ died for us and gave up his life for us. I pray to be humble and gentle and to be open to learn from you. I pray to be patient even when you are being a little bratty. A little bratty. <laughs> I pray that the Holy Spirit comes to me to guide us and that I yoke us correctly. I pray to have a forgetful spirit and a forgiving heart. I promise to always be faithful and never look at and never could be anything more than you, my gorgeous queen. I promise to always trust you implicitly. I promise to communicate clearly and effectively and listen to anything you have to say. Anything. Anything. I recall when we, re we were united, my rib broke and I went into a deep slumber and then you appeared. God commanded me to love you and share all my gifts and love with you. We shall prosper and defeat adversity. We shall triumph over all spiritual warfare, for we should become a three-chord strand. I will protect you and never misguide us. I will love you forever, Katie. Our new family shall start today and never end. That's right. We will be remarkable and extraordinary in our assignments, for we are set apart and uncommon. People shall dance around a ring of fire as we set this world ablaze. This is a lifelong revival and a joyous occasion, a celebration of the force and magnitude of God's power, the limitless horizons of mir miracles that can happen now and in the future. I vow to have and to cuddle you from this moment forward, but I already have, to watch your six, to latch on forever, even in eternity, and of course, things will always escalate quickly, forever and ever. I love you, Katie. We're gonna crush it and elevate our in God's name. Hallelujah. Now, and now the bride. Thank you, Sean. Mm, absolutely. Okay. okay, here we go. Now, dry eye in the face. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> Danny, you are the love of my life. I never imagined that I could love someone the way that I love you. You are the evidence of God's love for me. I thank him every day for reuniting us last year. I could not have imagined in my wildest dreams that I would be marrying Danny G from New Jersey. <laughs> uh, it's, it's truly a miracle from God that we are standing here today uniting in marriage. The word of God says that two are better than one and that if either falls down, one can help the other up. I couldn't be happier that you are my one. Mm. <laughs> and you are the one who lifts me up when I am down. You know just what to say and how to make me smile. I know that in our 40 plus years that we've promised each other, we will achieve great things together and create a legacy of love, servitude, and meaning. Danny, you are an admirable man, a man of good name and reputation. You are kind and compassionate. You are a man of faith, courage, determination, and kindness. You are generous with your time and with everything that God has blessed you with. I admire you. Hallelujah. You got this, you got this. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to God for giving me a man with a servant's heart and with the gift of generosity. I am also grateful for the way that you love me. I'm grateful that you love me for the woman of God that I am. Thank you for believing in me, in my gifts and in my calling. Thank you for supporting me in the ways in which I serve God and his kingdom. You are my biggest encourager. You are my greatest comfort besides God. Danny, I promise to follow you and let you lead us and our family. I vow to yield to your authority as my husband as you yield to Christ as the headship of our household. Yes. I submit to you as my husband in everything. 
and I vow to respect you with my words and with my actions. I promise to continue to pursue a posture of humility in our marriage. I promise to support your faith and to encourage you to continue to pursue your relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. I promise to always reach for your hand <laughs> and to grow old by your side. Mm. I promise to be faithful. I promise to love you through sickness, through doubt, through drought, and if we face financial hardships. I promise to encourage you and to I promise to encourage you to pursue your dreams mm. and your ambitions. I promise to pray with you and pray for you. I vow to intentionally pursue intimacy with you and I commit my whole heart to loving you with all of my might. I promise to give you permission to speak truth into my life, to tell me where you see sin in my life. And I promise to purpose my heart to listen to you. Mm. I promise to keep Christ at the center of our relationship, the foundation and cornerstone of our covenant. A three chord strand is not easily broken. You, me, and Christ are intermediately intertwined. I promise <laughs> when we don't see eye to eye that I will go into prayer and ask God to soften my spirit and seek resolution. Mm. I promise to be slow to speak and quick to listen. I promise to make our marriage the most important prior priority in my life. I promise to pursue oneness with you. Mm. I promise to do my part as chief of staff. <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> um, I promise to put you first. I promise to tell you I'll love you as many times as I can, especially every 10 minutes. <laughs> Also an inside joke. <laughs> I promise to be your best friend, your partner, your muse forever. I love you and I always will. I promise. I want to tell you Thank you. Hallelujah. Good job, babe. <laughs> almost there, almost there. We have the exchanging of the rings. Oh, yes. Get to put it on finally. finally. Right. <laughs> so having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by exchanging rings. From the earliest times, the circle has been a sign of completeness. The rings that you have chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like your love for one another. They are a symbol of the words that you speak today. May these rings be from this day forward your most treasured adornment and may the love they symbolize be your most precious possession as you wear these rings may they be constant reminders of these glad promises yes. that you are making today lord let us bless the giving and receiving of these rings may danny and katie be forever true in this union May the seamless circle of these rings become the symbol of their endless love and serve to remind them of the holy covenant they have entered today. Amen. 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 Danny, take this ring and place it on Katie's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Katie, take this ring and place it on Danny's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Spin it. Yeah. yeah spin it. Hallelujah. Spin. Spin. Gorgeous. The couple have uh, chosen a, an additional symbolic meaning through the unity candle that we are going to share with you now. If you guys would, come over here. Let me come around back there. Thank you, Shane. Mm -hmm. 
Here we are. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. The two outside candles. Would you, would you go first? Ladies first. Go ahead. You light the one. Got it? It's the beach? Yes. It's the beach. <laughs> it's the beach. Okay. It's the beach. No, so. no. Okay, go ahead and set it down. And go ahead, Daniel. Danny. <laughs> okay. The beach wedding. Well, the two outside candles burning here represents your lives at this moment. Each light is distinct, and each is able to go its separate way. Danny and Katie are two persons, unique, complex, individual human beings. And the same creator who gave each of you your individuality and uniqueness is now giving you to each other. The mystery shall be fulfilled. The two shall become one flesh from now on. What each of you have been individually, you will become together. That what you touch will be your lives as individuals become part of this new unity. So go ahead and together now as that individuals, you two now are lighting this one. And may the one whose name you are joined, who worked in your lives as individuals, continue to walk with you in your life together. You are, yes, extinguish it. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, right. nor do they light a lamp and place it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. And just so your light, let it so shine that you may bring glory and honor to the name of the one who has joined you and May your good deeds be seen by all forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And today you've pledged yourselves to a lifetime of caring for one another. And this be your commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally renewed. If you want to make your way back to the center. So as you stand here before us in hope, it's our hope that you will go through life loving, trusting, and caring for one another completely and forever. Danny and Katie, from this moment forward, you will That's never it. be alone. That's it. You will carry with you your love of another person, giving you a completeness and a renewed lightness May your life together be immersed in love and excitement. <laughs> may you strive to enrich each other in every possible way. And may you work to bring the peace you find to this world. And it's at this time that we... Mom? Can I just read Yes, absolutely. The reason you use regular glass during the wedding ceremony is to remember two of the most important and tragic events of Jewish history, the destruction of the Jewish temples, and in an otherwise joyous occasion, it is a ritual that tempers happiness and allows for a moment of reflection. Thank you, Mark. No, not yet. <laughs> We're not exactly sure how this all started, but it means a blessing. It also means, and this I've been coached by Rabbi Ariel here, that life is not its purpose, is not perfect yet. Mm. So as Daniel takes his foot and stomps this, it's everyone here needs to shout Mazel Tov, which means blessings. Amen? Go with Danny. Mazel Tov! <laughs> So, having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love, honor, and cherish one another in the presence of this gathering and by the authority that's vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of this state, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may finally kiss your bride. As you turn to everybody, it is my honor. Yes, 
Would you rise and, 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 and meet, as it is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Matthew and Katie Leah Gershman. Let the party begin. Lift my heart up when the rest of me is down. 